Consett Football Club was founded in 1899 and were currently known as Consett Celtic. The club have played at Bellevue Park since 1950 and since then their record attendance has been 7,000 after a game against Sunderland Reserves was played to celebrate the opening of the ground. The Steelmen are currently top of the Northern Premier League and are five points ahead of second placed Spenny Town. Current chairman John Hurst believes that they still have a lot of work to do to bring the title back to Bellevue Park. When, I've said, when people ask us when I'm out, out and around the town, what we can do is keep our heads down and just play each game as it comes, as the cliche goes, and just keep trying to win. If we keep picking points and we'll stretch the league, I think we, where we have, we've got a seven point league over Shilden at the minute and on the same game played. The team that I'd be worried about would obviously be Spenny who have got a very vast budget and have got a massively strong squad but obviously they are involved in cup competitions um, EJ the Vars but they've got three games in hand and the eight points behind but they would have to win the three games and they've still got to come to concert we actually beat them 3-1 at their place earlier on this evening and deservedly so I spoke to their chairman during the game and he said you, you deserve to be winning you're by far away the best team so and if you, if you analyse the league um, I think if we were to get caught no disrespect to Benfield and Sheldon if we were to get caught by them we wouldn't win it anyway but we, we obviously are in a very good position and we, we've just got to keep going we, we've we've won I think we've won about 13 games off the bat we, maybe since the middle of August we've took I think it's 55 points out of 60 Even if Consett win the league they would not be able to get promoted because of financial reasons and John believes that the FA need to move the goalposts for smaller teams I think the margins and I've said this for the last 7 or 8 years that, that it's it's too big a jump geographically at the moment. I think roughly Penrith's about our furthest north, and then North Holland's the furthest south. Now they aren't in our league, but what they were up to a couple of years ago. The, the problem you've got, you, you you can go down to like Manchester area, which is obviously 154 miles. I've said from day one the need to change. I think they need to make the step a little bit easier. They possibly need to chop the country into, certainly into three sections rather than the way they do it now in the two. I, re- I feel very strongly. People keep saying to me, what's the point of winning the league if you're not going to get promotion? I'll say, well, what's the point of taking promotion if you if you can't afford? And I just think if, if they would just move the goalposts a little bit, it would make it, I'm sure you would get teams out of the Northern League would be prepared to go into it. We had the chance to go into the Unibond North um, be three seasons ago now and it was probably me more than anyone we needed another 30 grand to cover I checked on the transport costs for the away games and what was in the league at that time and it, and then obviously extra wages because instead of now being there at 2 o'clock and you can be home at 6 um, on away games you've got to be up there 9, nine in the morning you're not getting back late at 9 at night so you obviously have to get them more, more wages didn't, at that point we didn't have the money to do it and nothing's really changed if the situation arose and we could get people to say well I'll put that in I'll put that in we would obviously go for it because obviously you want to try and keep going forward The club has not had a game for two months because of the severe weather conditions and this has taken its toll on and off the pitch Well it was very very difficult Um, what we we did we trained at the soccer arena at Durham on a regular basis the only thing I could say to that in all fairness is like I said to Ken Linder our manager the only saving grace everybody was in the same boat nobody was playing football but we were a little bit rusty when we came back we played West Lockman and the first half we were very very rusty but we, uh, we once we got we, we seem to be getting going again and he has, he's has he got a good squad there we, we're getting up to speed we, we had a, a game at Jarrow Roof and you were there yourself the pitch was very very hard to play it wasn't it wasn't conducive to the type of football we play, but we we, and it, we adapted to it, which I was very pleased with, and we got the result. Some people in the footballing circle believe that a summer league would be the way forward for Northern League clubs if the weather conditions continue year after year. You would think they would have to look at something because the weather we've had, it's been appalling. You, you would, if, if, if this is going to happen, I think this is the third year this has happened, I think if it's going to be a regular thing, it would be something that, that's for other people to decide, but it would be something to have a look at without a doubt. The Steelmen will be hoping that they will come away with three points away to Jarrow this Saturday and stretch their lead at the top.